Another great person and great patriot is my friend Gavin DeGraw. You probably know him. He's a singer. He uh, had, had an album called Chariot, a song called uh, I Don't Want to Be. He's a pretty popular guy. You might not know this, but uh, he also is something of a conservative, which is weird among the artistic types. Hey, Gavin, how's it going? How's it going? Hi, Gavin. <laughs> so, I had a chance uh, to meet you. Here hello. Sing, I'm here saying hello. Yeah, you're, you're, you're talking to us from, from Las Vegas. I trust it's not a bachelor party. What are you doing there? <laughs> it's not a bachelor party. Uh, I'm out here to do a performance um, at a, uh, something a little more risque. It's a pool party. Wow. Oh. Um, is this, do, you have, do you have a new album coming out, I hear? I do. I have an album coming out uh, in August, August 9th. It's releasing. It's called Sweeter. And uh, it's just uh, an album about a whole bunch of life experiences and relationships and uh, pop culture and this and that. And I just dropped a single called Not Over You, which I wrote with the uh, lead singer from One Republic, a guy named Ryan Tedder. Oh, great. Well, we'll all look forward to that. Now, I, because I know you, I know that you do a lot of work with some great charities. And you're yeah. a very generous guy. But I know that you specifically do a lot of great work with the troops. Tell me about some of the things that you've, you've done over the past you know, decade with the troops. Um, well, I, I like to hang out with the soldiers, and uh, I'm a New York City guy. I um, mostly spend my time in Manhattan, and uh, I, I think on the more social scene, aside from charity organizations uh, like going to Walter Reed and, and playing for the troops and things like that, uh, like Wounded Warrior, um, every year Fleet Week, I, I make it a point to uh, nab some nab some troops and show them, you know, show them a night out and. Uh, Welcome to New York City, you know what I mean? And be normal and, and hang out and welcome them to the, you know, to the good life. Well, and I bet that they absolutely <laughs> love that as a New Yorker myself. I, think they do. I mean, we live for Fleet Week um, <laughs> in New York. And I don't know that you want to go that far, Asti. I don't want to tell you why, but we do. We live for Fleet Week, especially as women. So that's really nice that you do that. I'm sure they appreciate it. Um, what, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this. You know, people right now have a chance. To, to donate money to send care packages to troops. And in that yes. care package, they can write a personalized note thanking the troops. What, what would you say in your note if you, if you were sending one to the troops? I would say uh, thank you for, for putting your lives on the line uh, so that other people can, can live in a way that goes almost <clears throat> unseen how much that they're doing. Mm. Uh, we, 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 we fortunately have, have a group of a group of people out there who are, are selfless enough to uh, go go and do the things um, that are that are asked of them um, that you know, ninety nine percent of the of the public would would never do even mm -hmm. for their even for their own enjoyment uh, um, at, even for their own benefit later you know later on but th these are a group of, of really selfless uh, individuals who who um, get asked to go do things that that no one conceivably Really could could imagine being uh, being asked to do, yeah. And uh, and they're and they're willing to do it. So I'm just I'm just here supporting whatever you know, whatever moral support I can lend or getting the word out for them so that they feel appreciated. Um, and it's not even really um, for me a left or right thing. It's, right. Uh, it's just just a, an American thing. So you know these are these are my these are my people, and uh, I want to I want to I want to show them. Uh, support and let them know that there are people back home who appreciate their uh, their sacrifices. And even people, you know, who, I mean, you say you're a New York City boy, and I know you are, but you also spend a lot of time in L.A., and even in yes. your weird L.A. world, <laughs> you can find some patriots. And, you know, I mean, I, I like to think that you're pretty brave for being a, a musician who, who comes out and, and, and is vocally um, you know, patriotic supports the troops. You do a lot of Fox News. I wish it. I wish it weren't a brave thing. You know, I mean, I wish this wasn't some kind of act of courage coming out and supporting the troops. Do you find a lot of, I don't know, animosity in your business? I mean, how how is it that you've emerged sort of unscathed from from weird Hollywood world? Well, well, you know, I don't, I don't think I don't think that I don't think Hollywood's so weird. You know, I think that. Uh, I think that that a lot of people are uh, they they know that they're living in in the safety zone of Hollywood, which exists in the U.S. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, and and I think that they it 
they're very pro pro American and and pro world at the same time. And I think America is pro world in in, men, in many ways. So so I, I look at it in, in that capacity. You know, America is uh, oftentimes just the the tip of the spear for a lot of world interests. Um, so you know, in, in that in that capacity, it really is ne neither left nor right. And and I don't think it. Um, I don't think I'm taking such a such a huge ri huge risk. You know, I don't. I don't come out and say really like crazy, you know, uh, political things. This is really a, is simply me embracing uh, the idea of people who, who are our warriors, um, putting their test out first for, for my best interests and, and really for all Americans' best interests. Uh, sometimes we, of course, um, have arguments as to why and and when it will be over and things like that. It's, it's not as if the troops are excited that they're getting shot at every day. Right, so, exactly. You know, th th this, is, this is the type of thing where, uh, unfortunately, the, our, our military uh, has to be somewhere. They are somewhere. And I'm just simply saying that, uh, uh, you know, I, I wish them the best in, uh, in, their, in their venture. Well, thanks, Gavin. I mean, you, you, you have a way of, of putting it so simply. I wish everyone could. Yeah. You know, could, could understand it the way the way you say it, and I want to thank you for generating, uh, donating so much of, of your time so generously. I know you're a busy guy, and good luck with your performance t tomorrow night, and good luck with your album. Thanks so much. Thank you, Essie. All Great right. to see you. You too. Good luck. Wow. He, what a nice guy. He is a nice guy and incredibly talented. I mean, he's been around for a while. And Very. A lot of people know know about his music, but not a lot of people know what a generous guy he is as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, coming.